how you're getting on there. Uh, name is John O'Neill. It's the son here. He's Jesus Christ. Look at him there with the, with the fucking headphones in. Jesus Christ, he never learns. You have to start that again. Start that again. Right, that's better now. Jesus Christ, what do you think? You know better now being on the television in Ireland than doing a, a documentary on us migration. You think you know better? Don't, don't make it seem that. Don't make How are we getting on? My name is John O'Neill and I've migrated to Australia 34 years ago. I'd never left the, the county, you know, let alone the country. It was an awful shock to the system. The plane trip over the road, you know, it was cat. So halfway I was in Abu Dhabi or Dubai, I didn't know where I was. I wanted to go home, that's all I knew. Oh, and the food on the plane was pure shite. And even had a, a biscuit for me, you know, no Kimberley or penguin bars or any of that business. It was fucking these plain yorks and they were only just dog biscuits is all they tasted like. Not that they, they, I've ever tasted a dog biscuit. I don't know what they taste like. I'd imagine that's what it tastes like. You know. So instantly, without even touching down in Australia, like I was awful you know, I've made a big mistake and awful confused, like what are you doing here, you know? This this isn't the place for you and I wasn't even there. So migrating is very difficult, you know, the plane alone I would say is hard. But you can't, you know, judge anything on the first day or the first week, you know, I have to give it time and Luckily, I did give it time because you know it obviously worked out and things were better in the end. Sure, it's all come into shape and now. How has migrating influenced my family? Well, you might not meant to read the, the question, or all right then. So that they're not gonna know. Like you're, you have, they have these cards now to the left of the camera with big questions and he told me not to read it but he told me to read it you, not to read it out loud is what you sort of said like <sighs> right okay yeah how has migration affected my I'm sure why I suppose you should ask them that really I, yeah it's definitely influenced my life of you know what I mean <laughs> found out what St. Patrick's Day was before Australia Day so <laughs> that was um very awkward for me at school um I remember my teacher asked me, you know, what's the 26th of January? And I I, I said, I think it's a Tuesday this year. Um, he, yeah, I, I had to leave that class. It was, um, turns out it was a Monday. but And, and Australia Day, obviously. So so there's definitely been times. And, um, yeah, I think that the, probably the first time I did feel a, a bit of difference was the, the World Cup. Um... Yeah, you know, because that was a bit awkward. Um, but, um, it was actually the 2011 World Cup because um, it was in New Zealand, so we went across for it. Oh boy, he got us Irish supporting seats. I won't, I won't be sitting in Australia's support stand, you know, when, when the boys in green are playing. No, and that's the only fair play. I respect that, and that's cool. Um, that was a bit awkward, you know, if you... Some were, not all, but some were like, you know, what are you doing here? But I just wore green, cheered for both sides, had a great, great time. Um, you know, I knew all along anyway, the All Blacks were, you know, no one's going to beat them, you know. And, you know, that hurts me to say it because that's that's my, you know, that's my bloody England <laughs> to, to the island. Not that that's, I don't want to get into that. But, um, and a lot of that as well, like, you know, isn't important. Uh, probably shouldn't have said that. We'll edit that, will we? Can we edit that? Yeah. What I'm trying to get a point is, like, Australia and New Zealand, we have a big rival, okay? Um, I've got nothing against New Zealand people. So I never, I never bought the young lad any, any Australian gear. Uh, not that I'm against it. That's a lie, actually. I did, I bought in the state of origin, the blues. I love that crap. Jesus, that's some game, that. That's, that's good stuff. Like migration is a hard thing for anyone at any time in their life. You know, you're not just leaving your family, you're leaving your home and your life as you know it. 
Because often times I think of, you know, driving through the country or, you know, even going up for all island day, even if it's natural county, the odd year that they're not in it. And even the simple things of going down to the beach. It's it sees things, you know, all these little things you were raised with that remind you of home and the good times and of what made you who you are. So then again, like you have to look at the positives and migration has given me a lot. Coming to this country, Australia, there were more opportunities at the time for me and you now the young lad has more opportunities and it is my home anyway now. So we have beaches here and countryside and she says we have the all island on the internet as well, like so you know, some of oh, some of them H D televisions like you feel like you're sitting in the Hogan stand, like they're not they're not bad, like they're fairly good. And as hard as migrating is, it could give you a lot back as well. I have a new home here, family and life for myself. And I wouldn't have done it any other way. You know, I'll always remember where I was from and I love my country that I was raised in. But I think the most important thing, I'd hope anyway, is to be remembered as the type of person you were. And sure, as long as you're trying to be a sound bloke, that's, that's, that's all that counts really for me. Final still shot. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not meant to read the cards to the left of the camera out. How am I meant to know that? Why wouldn't they? You should write, don't read out aloud. The fucking anyone with half a brain would know not to read it out, like. Fuck! This is Godzilla! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bonnie, get out of there, get out of there! Dad, my fair fellow.